Hey there, it's Tracy, and today we're going to do a little ink blending. I'm using the new Bold Stripe Stencil from Birch Press, and I'm going to start off by putting some repositional adhesive on the back of my panel and taping it down to my craft mat. I'll put the stencil over top and use post-it tape to tape the stencil down so that nothing shifts when I'm doing my ink blending. We're going to use Distress Oxide inks and start off with Picked Raspberry, which I'm going to put in the upper left corner on an angle. So I'll just lay the color down, sort of to get a good start. And then I'm moving on to my next color, which is Spice Marmalade. So I'll put the Spice Marmalade down next, and then I'm going to blend the Picked Raspberry and the Spice Marmalade together so that I have a smooth transition between the two. I'm not going to be too fussy because I'm just doing stenciling today, but I want to make sure that there's no harsh lines in between. So I'll blend those out and then I'm going to move on to my next color. The next color in the rainbow is going to be more mustard. Um, more mustard is definitely a very bold yellow, but it works perfectly for a rainbow because there's enough differentiation between the spice marmalade and the more mustard so that it's an obvious next color. Again, I'll blend those two together until I have a nice smooth transition and then I'm going to move on to my next color of the rainbow which is green and I'm going to be using mowed lawn. So I'll put the mowed lawn down and mix that together with the more mustard. Now when you mix those two to co colors together quite often you get a bit of contamination on your blending tool and I'm going to show you how I deal with that after we finish stenciling. Okay so we'll get that more mustard mixed in with the mowed lawn there's a the contamination. And then I'm going to put my final color down, which is Peacock Feather. So we'll put that down at the bottom and we'll blend that together with the Mold Lawn. Now once again, my Peacock Feather blender got a little bit uh, of contamination from the green. But again, we'll, we'll fix that after. So we'll get that stencil off and look at that pretty panel. Quickly clean up and then I'm going to tap two wet paint brushes together over top and pick up some of that water I just dropped down with a paper towel. Now to clean my blending tools I use a piece of scratch paper and try to wipe off as much of the unwanted color as I can and then I ink the tool up again with more of the color before I put it away so that way there's no surprises the next time I use it. I had contamination also on my Peacock Feathers Blender and once again I added more color to the tool before putting it away. This is a quick and easy step to take to prevent contaminating your next project. Moving on to my sentiment, I used the new You Are Awesome stamp set. I prepped a tiny strip of black cardstock with my powder tool and then I stamped the phrase You Are The Best with Versamark ink. I covered it with white embossing powder and embossed it with my heat tool. I love this new stamp set. There are so many fun ways in it that you can tell somebody that they're awesome. I cut the base of the new Honeyscript Thanks die in white and I cut the word itself in black. I glued those two pieces together and then set it aside. I trimmed down my ink blended panel so it would be five and a quarter inches by four inches wide and then I put foam tape on the back of it so that it would pop up off the card base for a little bit of dimension. The word thanks I decided to put on the front of the card with foam tape as well. Originally I wanted to just glue it on there but I thought that a little extra dimension was a little nicer. The sentiment you are the best I just put on by putting a bit of tape runner on the back of it and applied it straight onto the card. I had a lot of fun playing with this stencil and I can imagine all the different color combinations I can use with it in the future. Thanks for coming by today and we'll see you next time.